Rally Portugal is round four of the championship. After the high altitude action of Mexico, we went back down to sea level, based in the Algarve. Another high speed gravel adventure, an event unlike any other, super fast and technical. The start ceremony was held in Estoril, a chance for the fans to meet the WRC elite. After which, championship leader Sebastian Ogier led them over the start ramp. A short trip to Lisbon saw the drivers get their first taste of the action, a special stage sprint through the streets of the capital. After a short blast, Sebastian Ogier came out in front of Yari Mati Latvala and Andreas Mikkelsen in third, making it a VW 1-2-3. Day one of the rally started with a big surprise when Spaniard Daniel Sordo was leading the field after the third stage. Followed by Estonia's Ott Tanak, while Sebastian Ogier stayed in third position. For the first time this year, Hyundai was leading a rally. Elfin Evans experienced his first big crash on stage four. followed by Robert Kubica, who crashed once again, causing a delay to Finland's Juho Haninen. After all the trouble, Sebastian Ogier took over the lead, followed by teammate Yari Mati Latvala. But after pushing hard in stage four, Latvala's rally came to a sudden end. I was just understeer, basically. So I hit the, I hit the hole and the car went two wheels and then with, with the front to the, to the bank and then we, we, we rolled. After Sebastian Ogier lost time on the final stage, Mikko Hivonen took the lead with 3.7 seconds in front of Ott Tanak. I wanted to fight an attack and, you know, it worked out. Day two started with another lesson for Robert Kubica, making it his 10th crash in 11 rally days. Sebastian Ogier clinched back the lead from Mikko Hivonen after stage nine. After Ott Tanak lost control of his Ford Fiesta, Hivonen was forced to cruise to the end of the stage under yellow flag conditions. The Finn was given the same time as Ogier to stay 2.4 seconds behind the leader. At the end of the day, Ogier was able to stretch his lead to 38 seconds over Hivonen. Mads Ostberg replaced Ott Tanak in third place. At the final day, Norwegian Mads Ostberg was able to win stage number 15 chipping away time on Ogier and Hivonen, who kept their positions unchanged. In the final power stage, Yari Mati Latvala was able to save himself two important championship points, beside an otherwise disappointing rally. But the end of the weekend belonged to Sebastian Ogier. It was not an easy one. Uh, Miko put a lot of pressure and the two first day was going really fast. But uh, at the end, another victory with the power stage, so perfect. The French championship leader won the rally as well as the power stage to take a maximum of 28 points. Hivonen in second place and Mats Ostberg in third. Sebastian Ogier increases his lead to 29 points, benefiting from Latvala's misfortune in Portugal.